right. Okay, water spout. Let's go back to Bob real quick. All right, guys. They're talking about the lake that we live right by. Yeah. So this is Kevin at Hidden Heights Farm and we are under a tornado warning and our local news just told us to seek shelter because the uh, tornadoes have been spotted on the ground just a few uh, miles from where we live. So me and the kids, I just left work and as soon as I was walking out to my truck, the sirens from both the local towns that we live by was going off. So I rushed to their school and picked them up and we just got home and we got a Skeeter and we're fixing to go get in the cellar. All right. Tell them where mom's at. Let's go. Yeah. 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 You might have to help him down there. Yeah. Get down there first and help your sister down. Grab that handrail. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Hurry, put your tablet up. Put your tablet up and grab Skeeter. Hurry. Come on, Skeeter. Here, grab this light. Don't walk. I'll get him. Here, Skeeter. Skeeter, come on. All right, go. Get out of the way. Kayla, put your stuff down and grab Skeeter. Hurry. He's scratching. You don't like it, don't you? Skeeter, stop. Grab him. You got him? Yeah. Oh, watch it. Oh. Alright guys, so we made it down here to the cellar. Bear with me with this light. Uh, I just got one of the kids' little uh, lanterns on to preserve our other bigger lantern. And uh, well, we made it down here to the cellar. We got Skeeter and the kids are playing on their tablets. I think they still got Wi-Fi in here because we're our cellar is really close to our house. So we are just going to set this out and uh, I had the news pulled up on my cell phone and we will wait for the all clear before we get out of here. So they just said there was a tornado on the ground just a few miles from our house so uh, we're waiting for it to get this way. It was raining really hard if you've seen on the video and now it's like super quiet outside the winds kind of laid down and that's a really bad sign usually. It's a really eerie feeling as well so uh, we're gonna stick through there and our uh, my wife is at work and they have their business shut down and they are actually in their safe room at work so it's actually safer for her to stay there at work in the safe room to try to make it home to be with us in the cellar so we'll just keep watching the news and uh, hopefully this thing just blows by right okay water spout let's go back to Bob real quick all right guys they're talking about the lake that we live right by yeah. Uh, just about the center of the lake, moving toward the east side of the lake. You can see the rotation out in the water, so... Oh, you can. Uh, definitely we'll All right, so it's right on the lake. And flash flood warning for, for Creek County and Tulsa County. Okay. Okay, so it's just a whole bunch of places. All right, we'll look at water in just a minute. But uh, as we're looking right now, you see the updraft area where Bob's talking about over Lake Hudson. This is near the Salina. And again, see it right there? Yep. Hey, get off there for a minute. It's going right across the lake right now. And, uh, so you can see it moving. And uh, Bob's got the picture right now. So All right, guys, so this, they're talking about a tornado right over the lake. That's like basically a water spout type of thing. Which is a water spout is what they're calling it. Obviously, it makes sense. And so that's just getting ready to come back on the land here on the east side. All right, guys, so we got the all clear to come back above ground. Uh, thank God it missed us, but it did touch down here and there. Hopefully everybody in its path is okay. Here's a little bit of a cloud that's pretty weird looking. I'll help it. That's just to the north of our house. Alright. Can you get up here, Skeet? Come on. Come on. Okay, so everybody's back in the house safely. And uh, we have more rounds of storms coming later this evening. So we got to be aware and keep the news on all evening. 
and be prepared to get in the cellar and that's one reason why like we live in Oklahoma and we know there's a chance every spring summer and even fall now there's been tornadoes almost every year so it's always wise to take those extra precautions and try to be ready and you know you have minutes of warning if there's a tornado that actually touches down usually so it's best just to uh, treat every tornado like it's coming towards your house in the cellar or safe room whatever you got take precautions and stay safe with your family and uh, this time it kind of just it looks like it skipped around us a little bit thank god so uh we're fortunate for that and very blessed but uh we're gonna watch the news and uh hopefully none pop up again this evening so one positive thing out of these thunderstorms and uh the spring weather rolling through is the rain so tonight i do not have to water my raised beds or the garden and we just planted the corn a couple days ago so it's gotten watered well so uh i went ahead and ordered the uh drip works uh system for these raised beds i'm going going to run some irrigation pipe and some soaker tubes and, and some little sprayers and stuff for this raised bed but i have not had the chance to do it yet so we are thankful for this rain that's for sure i know these plants here are they're starting to take off very well the tomatoes are looking good they're really growing all right so we got a little window to where it's not pouring down rain and the storms have kind of slowed down so we're going to take this opportunity to get the feeding done and first let's check on these baby turkeys and see how they're doing man they're going through the feeding water i gotta add feeding water every day these things are starting to grow so quick and uh consume a lot more food and water all right guys these little chickens are getting big that's the uh, americanas and then there's a turkey right there they're starting to get their feathers and they will be ready to go out to the brooder real soon the americanas you can see those they have the uh bearded faces there and they are the breed that lays the colored blue green tinted eggs so i'm going to get them some fresh food and water and then we'll go check on daisy and the spanish goats All right, guys. So if you're uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I kind of quit feeding the goats just a few weeks ago because they are on full pasture and have a big pasture full of lush grass, leaves, and weeds. So uh, I'm just feeding them like once a week or so just to keep them coming into the barn and keep them used to me. You know, you kind of want to keep that habit going with them. That way, if you ever need to work them or catch them. You can bring a feed bucket and they're still used to it and you can get them in your barn, catch them, do what you need to do with them. So it makes them easier to catch. But I have noticed some of these does are starting to bag up a little bit and getting a little wider on the back end. So most of them have about a month to a month and a half left due on their pregnancy and then they should be kidding. So Kidding season's always the best time of the year. You know, if you raise goats, that's what everybody looks forward to. That's where you make your money. And everybody loves the cute kids, of course. So Daisy wants to say hi, guys. Hey, Daisy. She don't like the rain either, but 
they got this nice big barn to get into so i'm going to do a head count and make sure nobody's stuck in the fence before these other storms roll in because i'm sure they're going to want to hang out in the barn this evening that's pretty much why i decided to feed them in here so i'm going to do that and then we'll go feed bear and check on the pygmy goats so we have these irises that are growing up around the cellar we've never been able to really keep any good flowers on the cellar so we usually just have to weed it because it's so ugly the way it is but uh we got these irises that are growing and my wife spent most of the day this I think one day this weekend planting a bunch of uh, iris bulbs around the cellar and now we're getting the rain so hopefully that will help all right guys if you guys have been following the channel along you know that bear is scared of loud noises like gunshots and thunder so when it comes dinner time for bear we got to cater to him and feed him in the barn or he will not come out and eat so let's go do that real quick and mama hen is protecting her babies from the storm two little babies underneath her keeping them dry and we're gonna be some nice little bannies when they grow up all right guys remember all those little banny eggs i had left in this nest box for one of the broody banny hens to sit on look at this she's hit the mother load I can't even count how many babies she has on the ground and then she has more up here so I'm gonna get them out of the top box and put them down here so they can be with their mom All right guys, so she hatched every single egg that I had put in there and I think I put 13 or 14 in there. So that is amazing. Look at all those babies that she hatched out. All different colors of bannies. That'll be great for the farm. Them things eat the bugs now. Well, got the chores done before all the rain came back and uh, got some sad, bad news anyways. Uh, so I had those rest of those turkey eggs in the incubator and none of them ended up hatching. They just were not fertile and uh, I think it's safe to say that that Tom will have to go. I don't know if he'll become a uh, Thanksgiving dinner for someone or us or if uh, we'll keep him around the farm as like a, just a decoration you might say. Or we might add another young Tom and see if they get along and keep him, you know, keep him just to maybe as a backup breeder. Because he, uh, he did do a little bit of breeding and some of the eggs were fertile. As you see, we got two of them hatched in the brooder. But Skeeter's running around here crazy like. I don't know what he's doing. He's soaking wet. He's got to get back into the groomers for a haircut. He's been out here with me feeding and, it's, you know, like I showed you, it was raining. So everything's soaking wet and, of course, he is. All right guys, see this uh, looks like smoke back here behind me. That's what it's like up here at Hidden Heights Farm in the spring and summertime if it rains a little bit. Or every morning above the creek down below, you'll, you'll get this uh, like fog just lifts up through the sky. It's pretty cool. So uh, it's always a, a sign of spring and storm times for me because that's what we see almost every time it storms. But guys, I'm gonna end this video Thank you guys for watching. I know I got a lot of new subscribers and I appreciate that. And I also really appreciate my old subscribers. You guys are awesome. Always leaving comments, uh, helping me out if I got questions around the farm on gardening or about the animals and uh, vice versa. When you guys ask me, we enjoy that as well. So uh, keep it up guys. And uh, thank you for coming and checking out the channel. I ask you guys to hit that like button. If you guys are new to my channel and are not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little button over here over here i'm not sure on this camera but uh guys we gotta go watch this weather because we got more storms coming in it's starting to thunder again so uh if you're in the uh, path of tornadoes you guys stay safe too and uh, we'll see you on the next video